A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. An insight into former Aston Villa, Leeds and Nottingham Forest A Steve Hodges. Former Aston Villa, Leeds and Nottingham Forest A Steve Hodges' football career has been a fascinating one. Read on for an insight into his life and career, as well as the problems he faced due to injuries. You'll also learn about his time at Tottenham. After reading this article, you should be able to answer all of your burning questions about the former England international, Steve Hodge. Despite his injury problems, former Aston Villa and Nottingham first striker Steve Hodge was still named in the final squad of the 1990 European Championships. In his first major tournament, he played in the semi-final against Brazil. However, he could not play the final due to injury, and was subsequently ruled out. Although he managed to get a chance to play in the semi-final, he did not recover in time to play in the third-place playoff. Aston Villa Leeds and Nottingham Forest ace, Hodge was a key figure in the English team during that season. He scored 10 goals in 39 league games, including a double in a 5-0 win over Wolverhampton Wanderers. Hodge was the first player to achieve this feat at City Ground. While he played only a handful of games for the Red Devils, his form at club level saw him regularly called up by Robson. After joining Nottingham Forest as an apprentice in 1980, Hodge starred for the club and was in the team's first Premier League match, a 3-1 victory over Ipswich Town. From then on, he became a regular in Forest's starting line-up and scored eight goals in a season. Hodge also went on to play for England in the 1986 World Cup. An iconic Argentina shirt once belonged to the 59-year-old midfielder. He swapped shirts with Diego Maradona in the tunnel after a game in Mexico. His shirt went on to fetch 7,142,500, making it the highest-priced sports memorabilia ever sold. In April, his former teammate's shirt went up for auction and was bought for PS 7,142,500, his career. The former Aston Villa and Leeds ace spent nine years in England and scored a total of 107 goals. However, the keeper was unable to get a regular place at the championship club and was sold to Leeds United for PSIN 100,000. Hodge struggled to make an impact at Elland Road, making just 23 appearances and scoring seven goals. In his first season with the club, he scored braces against Sheffield United and Liverpool and had one goal against Liverpool in his only game. The following season, he played just 15 times for the club, and his career ended at the end of the league campaign. After a spell with Leeds, Steve Hodge returned to the West Midlands and joined Nottingham Forest. The club gave him his first chance in the league and he made his debut in a 3-1 win against Ipswich Town. Hodge then became a regular for the club and scored eight goals in the 1982-83 season. His success at Nottingham Forest was not limited to his playing career, however, as well as scoring goals for the Premier League and the Championship, Hodge is also a talisman. In midweek, he was named man of the match for his stunning strike against Cardiff. On Sunday, he scored two more goals in an emotional match against Swansea City. His tally against the Swansea City side was an all-time high for the former Aston Villa Leeds striker after retiring from the game. Hodge went into coaching. He went on to manage two relegated teams in one season, including Aston Villa. He also captained the first British side to win the European Cup. In a short time, Hodge's career had been shaped by these two successes. The team included a number of promising young players, including Tony Dorigo and Steve Hodge. His injury troubles. The injuries that plagued former Aston Villa, Leeds and Nottingham Forest ace Steve Hodges were no secret to fans. In the summer of 1985, the club offered him 450000 to join them, but Forrest turned it down. The club had fallen on hard times, and the fans did not feel committed to Hodge. He was booed by Norwich fans during a 4-1 home defeat by the Canaries, and in December 1986, Aston Villa sold him to Tottenham for PS 650,000. After spending two seasons at Leeds, Clough decided to end the contract of the 30-year-old. The move was a success for the club, and Hodge, who had been a consistent scorer for the team, 
was finally recalled for England's last game, Aon Ezero win over Denmark at Wembley. Although Hodge was once again cast aside internationally, he began to find form at club level and was regularly called up by Robson. Despite the recent tussles with his health, Hodge remained cheerful during an interview with Jim Rosenthal on the BBC. The former Aston Villa Leeds and Nottingham Forest ace admitted that his injury problems have been troubling him. While he has remained committed to training, he has reportedly been out with a hamstring injury. The club have not said whether he will be able to return to full fitness for the playoffs. The Argentinian striker's injury problems have been well documented. Although he was absent from the game with Argentina, he became a global celebrity. In the world's biggest soccer game, Argentina defeated Mexico in 1986. Steve Hodge was a silent protagonist. The autobiography, The Man in the Maradona Shirt, was released in May 2010, his time at Tottenham. The midfielder spent almost two seasons at Tottenham before joining Estanvilla in 1986. He was deemed a persigning by fans, who saw him as uncommitted. His career at Villa ended after one particularly dreadful play, when he lobbed an awful back pass to Kevin Poole, who was slotted into the box by a Norwich player. Hodge's time at Villa ended in a hurry, and in November 1986 he signed for Tottenham for PS 650,000. Aston Villa and Tottenham both in England were interested in signing Hodge, a defender born in Derbyshire. The former Aston Villa player spent two years with the club before signing for Tottenham. In May 1994, Hodge played for Portuguese club Sporting Lisbon, but they did not sign him permanently. Tottenham later signed Hodge for a fee in excess of £4 million. While at Tottenham, Hodge also made a huge impact on his former club, Nottingham Forest. During the 1980 on a minus-82 season, Hodge scored 30 goals in 123 matches. In his second spell with the club, he netted 10 goals in 54 appearances. As a player, he also won the Football League Cup back-to-back -back in 1989 and 1990. Hodge was rewarded with a PFO award for his performances in the 1990s in 2010. Steve Hodge retired from football, but continued to work in the sport. He later obtained an a coaching license and worked for Chesterfield. He was part of a team that visited Iran in 2002. Gary Mabut, Jason Dodd and Steve Hodge worked together at the Nottingham Forest Academy. In 2013 minus 14, he was appointed development squad manager at Notts County. Aston Villa and Tottenham are not the only teams he managed during his time at the club. His Hand of God shirt. This Hand of God shirt was worn by former Aston Villa, Leeds and Nottingham Forest A. Steve Hodges when he played for England. He joined Nottingham Forest at age 15 and quickly established himself as a top-class midfielder. Hodge could play centrally or on the flanks and combined outstanding offensive presence with exceptional creativeness and defensive commitment. The Hand of God shirt was once owned by Maradona and has deep cultural significance. It is an iconic football shirt that is now worth more than seven million. It is a must-have item for a football fan, as it has the potential to change the life of someone who wears it. But despite the fact that Hodge is no longer with us, his shirt has a history that will live on. After the quarterfinal match between Argentina and England, Steve Hodge swapped shirts with the legendary player. The Argentines' goal of the century, which sucked past England's defense, is considered one of the best in World Cup history. It was later voted goal of the century. Aston Villa are facing a dilemma in the transfer of Philippe Cochinho. Steven Gerrard wants to keep the Brazilian in the Premier League, but the Aston Villa hierarchy must weigh up the pros and cons before agreeing to the transfer. Meanwhile, Arsenal and Newcastle United have been linked with a move for Cowdenhoe, but they are not ready to give up the fullback position just yet.